Hi guys. Okay, today I am going to try making a recipe, a black bean burger, and it's something I actually have not done before. I've made my lentil loaf, so I kind of have, you know, an idea of how to do it. I saw a recipe online or something on Twitter, and it was a picture of a mush mushroom black bean burger. I'm like, oh, that looks great. I have to try that. So I'm going to just try whipping something up here. So I have, uh, this is just shy of a can of black beans. I used some with some rice um, a couple days ago. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Someone came to my door. Um, okay, so when I've done my lentil loaf, I have used oats as, as a binder. Um, it were to help bind, and I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this rice because I've got some rice. And I'm going to get started. I might use this entire pack. My daughter doesn't like onion too much, so this is like, uh, what, two-thirds of an onion? So two-thirds of like a average-sized onion. I've got some red pepper here, I've got garlic, and as I go along, if I want to add anything else, I will. And seasonings, of course. So let me get started. All right, just so you guys see, um, I've taken out about five mushrooms here. I'm going to cut these up, I'm going to saute them, and then I'm going to blend everything together. I'm going to saute this with this, and I'm going to put some garlic. So once you saute the mushrooms, of course, um, the moisture will come out a bit and they'll become softer and smaller, if you know what I'm trying to say, guys. I mean, I sound like I'm really awesome at explaining things right now. But, um, I'm not thinking that I need the entire pack. So I'm taking this out and we're going to go from there. Okay, so what I have here is my skillet with a little bit of oil. I don't know, maybe a tablespoon. And I'm going to put my garlic. I had two cloves of garlic. So garlic, onion, and red pepper mixture. And I had a, maybe what would amount to like two tablespoons of, of, of red of the red uh, pepper, not a ton. I'm gonna put this in here and saute probably for about five minutes. Just make sure everything is softened. And then I'm going to add the mushrooms to this. So I'll be back. All right, so now I'm going to just take my mushrooms. And did I tell you, I actually put back a few more mushrooms. So this is about half of that container. I'm just feeling I don't need all of that. So use about half a pack. That's what I'm using and we're going to see how this turns out. Add it to your pan and saute until the mushrooms are softened. All right, I'm back and I have my KitchenAid food processor ready. What I'm going to do is, okay, this is, first of all, so you see, this is my mixture of mushrooms and onions and the peppers. What I'm going to do is just mix this up on its own with the rice. I want to see if I can get a smoother mix on this while leaving the black beans somewhat chunky. So I'm going to do it separately. I actually have not put any seasoning in here yet. I think I'll wait until I have it all in a bowl. Actually, so right now I have a, a half a cup of rice. I don't know if I should put more. I might. I might put the other half I have there. Okay, so let's just see how this works. I'm gonna just pulse. just looking. Okay, I'm going to let this uh, roll for a bit, and I'm not going to add any extra rice right now, because with, I think this should probably be enough. Okay, guys, I'm going to start that up, and process all that together. This doesn't have to be fully processed, it can be a little chunky. So just check and look and 
you know, push things down a little. It looks like already the the rice, it's, it's still sort of just naturally a little bit chunky, which is fine. I'm just going to process a little bit more so it's not quite as chunky. just want something to help, obviously, bind your burgers. All right, I have processed the rice and onion pepper mixture, and now I have my black beans in here. And I'm pulsing. And I'll let it roll for a little bit. I'm going to just check on that. Oops. Um, I'll let it go a little bit more. Actually, once again, I'll just you just want to scoop everything down into the bowl if anything's popped up. And I'll process that just a little bit more. All right, I'll just show you the consistency of the rice. So it's chopped, but you still see some whole grains there. And that's the consistency of the black beans. So they're getting kind of smooshy, um, while you still seem to have definitely some whole beans in there. So not over-processed, not under-processed, just right. This is the time now that I'm going to add my seasonings. And it's possible I could use more black bean. I have another can, but I'm going to just try this like this first. Yeah, you see that? Mixing this together. Yeah, I wonder, should I put more? Hmm. Maybe that little bit I took out for the rice is making a difference. Okay, this is a time also when you can taste, obviously, this. all of this is cooked. Need seasoning? I'm going to add that now. Okay, I'll tell you what I added to this. I added some garlic powder. I added some nutritional yeast. I added some of my herbamare, which I love. Sea salt infused with organic herbs and vegetables. And I have um, this neat little um, spice thing with different spices in each little section. So I added some barbecue Texas, or Texas barbecue. Yeah, I might add a little more of that, but um, anyway, that's what I, and this is medium. Just something to give it a little, a little bit of a spicy flavor. And I don't know if I might add a tiny bit of uh, cornstarch, actually. It's maybe not necessary. But I'm going to add a little bit. And this is going to be bad, guys, because I never like to measure. I'm going to call that maybe about a tablespoon. And maybe not even, actually. That's probably not a tablespoon. I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay. That's maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Okay, that's just um, my paranoia in terms of will it hold together well. So I think what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to pan fry them and then also put them in the oven for just a little bit. So I will shape them, put them in the pan, and I will be back. Okay, so I have four patties in here. Uh, cooking and um, interestingly it seems as though I added that little last bit of spice <laughs> and I don't know if they're too spicy but they're a little spicy but not too bad the heat is at medium low uh, medium I'm just gonna flip these over I'm gonna get them both both sides coated and kind of hard I'm gonna put them in the oven probably like 10 minutes just to firm it up Okay. So you can flip that over, squish it down a little bit if you need to. 
I have to say, guys, I'm loving trying all these kind of recipes I simply never would have tried before being vegan. I hope my daughter likes these. Okay, that one's going to be tricky to turn over, but I'm going to get it turned over. I'm going to cook these a little bit on this side, and I'm going to put them in the oven. Okay, guys, so these are the burgers, and I actually left them in for about 25 minutes, and just to make them harder and all that stuff. So I'm going to let them cool, get it all dressed on my bun, and taste it, and let you know how I like it. And my daughter, too. All right, guys, I just want to tell you, how did you like it, Chloe? Pretty good? My daughter says pretty good. I mean, it certainly has the meat look to it. it um, it's a little soft, obviously, I mean, in terms of the total bite down, but it actually is very satisfying in terms of like, if you're, that burger satisfaction. Am I making sense? It's good. It's meat tea. I think I probably would add more mushrooms next time. I think the mushrooms will help it to even have like a sort of meatier consistency. Okay guys, actually pretty good. Really tasty. There you go. Black bean burgers, black bean rice burgers I guess. Alright, thanks for watching.